what's the procedure after the stem cell treatment? How do we man maintain uh, a child at home, for example? What kind of therapies exactly. are available? Now, this is a very, very good question. See, stem cell therapy was along with a new rehabilitation program. So ABA, counseling, occupational therapy, some degree mm -hmm. of physiotherapy, aquatic therapy, all these things have been found mm -hmm. to work along with stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. We have found that patients who are in a in aggressive and appropriate rehabilitation program after stem cell therapy have far better improvement mm -hmm. than those patients who take stem cell therapy and don't take rehab. So we believe it's a combination. A combination of stem cells and rehabilitation is what works. Mm -hmm. okay. We've also found, interestingly, that when the parents are motivated, when the parents are driven, those children tend to do much better. Mm. Because what happens, as you're aware, with autism, is that very often the parents give up. Mm. And the, the sheer pressures of society, of living and everything else, we have parents who've sort of given up hope. And if the parents give up hope, then there's nobody else for the children. So I think a combination of stem cell therapy, motivated, demanding parents, parents who are willing to put in everything, and a rehab program, we can do miracles for these children. Mm -hmm. So um, you would recommend uh, an, an, um, an holistic approach? It is a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. Actually, everything in life is a holistic yes. approach. It's like yes. a good meal. You have the right vegetables, the right meat, the right salt, mm -hmm. the right spices. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you can have great vegetables, but if you know the salt is less or more, yeah. the meal won't taste good. Absolutely. So the treatment in autism has got to be holistic. It's got to be you know mm -hmm. all comprehensive. Yeah.